Should pastors write their own sermons? Absolutely, yes, they should. I know there are services out there that'll do all your research. There are, sermons, there are services out there that will write your sermon for you. You can go to various websites. You can download entire series. You can download entire, like, like you, you can download a whole catalog of thousands of sermons from specific preachers. And the question is, should you, should you preach somebody else's sermon? Even if you paid for them to do it, should you preach somebody else's sermon? And the answer is no, you shouldn't. That's lying. Unless you're saying this sermon was preached by so-and-so and I'm going to preach it now. Even if you paid for somebody else to write that sermon for you, you should say that. Because what's happening is it's coming across like you wrote it, like you put that together. And that's just, that's lying, that's, that's stealing, that's sinful. And so, no, you should do the hard work. And I know there's a ton of other things that pastors have to do. We have to counsel people. We have to have meetings. We have to have multiple meetings. We have to have even more meetings. We have to oversee these ministries and talk to these people. I know we have to do all of those things. But there is nothing that is more important in your week than the preaching of God's word. There just isn't. And so you have to carve out that time. You have to make it special. You have to make it something that cannot be interrupted unless there is an absolute emergency. You have to protect that. You have to build that into the culture of the team that you have around you, that they will protect that for you because they understand that the preaching of God's word There is nothing more important than that. There's nothing more important that the people in the church are going to hear all week than that. That is the most important thing. In every other thing that we do, whether it's talking to one another, whether it's praying, whether it's singing worship songs, all of that is us talking to God, but in the preaching of the word, God speaks to us through the preacher. So pastor, it is critical. It is absolutely critical that you develop your own sermons. Why? Because you don't want to stand up there preaching somebody else's stuff, giving a performance that uh, with material that doesn't come from your own heart, doesn't come from your own study, the way that you've interacted with God's word. It, it ends up being a performance. And, and what it ends up saying is that, gosh, well, I have to do this thing on the weekend, but what really matters to me is all the stuff that happens during the week. No. It is not more important for you to be a leader. It is not more important for you to be an entrepreneur. It is not more important for you to be a counselor. If you are the main preacher at your church, that is the most important thing that you do is preach the word. And so, yeah, the leadership, the vision, all of those other things might take a, take a back seat because as you get closer to the weekend, you've got to turn all of that stuff off that maybe you really love to do in order to do this thing called preaching. Listen. Listen, the prophets of the Old Testament, we hold them up as heroes because they preached the word. The apostles themselves, we hold them up as heroes, not just because they died for Christ, but because they died for Christ because they preached Christ. And Jesus himself, how many times have you heard it? God had one son and he made him a what? A preacher. It is the privilege of privileges that God would give you the opportunity to preach his word. So preach his word. Preach the word that he is not only on the pages of scripture, but the specific words on the page that he's worked into your mind and worked into your heart that you've studied and you've wrestled with. You've sought to live before you sought to preach it. Do that, pastor, and what you will see is something far better than all the benefits that you think that you're getting from giving less time to preaching and preparation and more time to other things. What you will see is God's supernatural work in your midst. And I'll tell you, there's nothing better than that. Being able to look out at the work being done through your life and saying, God is doing that. And he's doing it the way that he has always done it. He's done it through the preaching of his word through men who know the truth and love the truth, have studied the truth, meditated on the truth, convicted their hearts with the truth, and then sought to teach that truth to God's people. Absolutely. 
Absolutely. Study the word, study to show yourself approved, and then preach it with all your heart.